Megan. I think we'll dim the lights and shut the door. I think that's good. Compromise the lights. All right. Please give your attention to Tori. Woo! Yay! Okay, so my name is Tori. Hi. And I decided for my zenith to paint with light. And I don't mean with brushes, but with light. So, these are a few words I'm probably going to mention, may or may not. Um, definitely this one. And this one basically means, chiaroscuro means like starting with a black canvas and then adding light to it. And so with this one, you just show what you want to show to the audience. And so you, you see this a lot with like, let's say it's a party, but, and you know there's a bunch of people, but they're all like blacked out and the colored lights are on like, the main characters and all that. Um, this one definitely, tungsten versus fluorescent. Fluorescent gives off a cool lighting, this is warm lighting. Um, bounce or diffuser. A bounce basically bounces the light from somewhere to another place and a diffuser sort of just softens the light and doesn't make it so harsh. And harsh light is basically um, if you're out in the sun and you see like, if you can make like hand shadow puppet puppets. shadow puppets, um, that's harsh lighting. Soft lighting is more like when it's like a cloudy day and like your shadows aren't as defined. And my best friend for this project was Premiere. Oh. Woo! Yeah, Premiere. Woo! All right. So what I had to do was come up with a huge amount of shots that I wanted to mimic. And so I used Shot Deck. It was only like a two week thing, so I had to screenshot everything. Um, I think it's like $10 a month. I'm not gonna do that. Um, and so this is my shot deck. Okay. Let me get the lights real quick. Oh, oh no, okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. So this is Birds of Prey, that's Harley Quinn. And for this one, there's a light in the back, obviously. Easiest one. And so I had Autumn. <laughs> and there's the light in the back. She had a pink wig, makeup on, all that. And luckily, because I did this in the freestyle bathroom, light bounced off everywhere so I only needed one light no bouncer no diffuser and I got this it's sort of similar yeah can you can you show us like the two like can, can you go back and like so we can look at the one and then look at this one there you go this is this one a lot more darker obviously probably the one thing I did miss was the shadow down here because again, the light bounced around the whole room and it lit up her face. But yeah. And so my next one was from Scarface. This is that. And it's all red. You can see that there's like a few lights in his eyes and all that. And it's soft lighting. And so I had Bright and Stella help me. And that's from prom, if you don't know. <laughs> Um, and I got this. I tried to move the lights, but they were, they would either like light up her face too light and not like red, or like not do anything at all. So I just had to find a balance and that was it. So go back and forth. So these lights are definitely like much farther and much brighter, but yeah. And the, the next one, Grand Budapest Hotel, 
Um, this one was a lot more trickier and I did miss quite a bit of things. Um, for some reason, I don't have Christmas lights. Um, we discarded them for white lights and so I had to improv and so I had bright again. Um, freestyle bathroom is not black and the wall is like a little bit reflective and so is this but it's fine. And then I had some like fairy lights, I had the light right here. Sadly I used fluorescent instead of warm, I don't know why. I had it diffused because she does not have any like huge definition of shadow on her face. And so I got that. Oh. That's photoshopped, I don't have colored lights. <laughs> Um, another thing I did for this one was make the side blue because I totally forgot and I didn't know that she had like a blue shade. So yeah. And my next one is from Whiplash. It's my favorite movie. That's Miles Teller. Very cool. I do recommend this movie. Um, and it's about drums, so you might be confused. <laughs> um, so yeah, this one's a lot of harsh lighting, there's fake blood, um, and it just looks really gross. It's green, white, super bright, and you can tell he's like exhausted. So I had my dad. <laughs> <laughs> um, fake blood was dripping everywhere, we were outside. And then I had to have light bounce up from here because it was shining, I'm guessing, from this scene, it was shining down onto the concrete and then back up into his face, but not too much because we still see shadow here. And so I did that and I got this. Yeah, um, I didn't get too much definition in the shadows as much as it is in the film but it's close. <laughs> My next one is from Nightcrawler. That's Jake Gyllenhaal. Ooh. And I've never seen this, but I want to watch it. But we do see green soft lighting. And I think those are like, it's either police cars or street lights. I don't know, but soft lighting, remember that. So I have my dad again, and my mom. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, and the fairy lights. And I had the light over here, and you can't see it, but I had the black side of the diffuser over here, because it was bouncing off my white door too much and hitting right here too much. And then I had that in the background just because I didn't want the white wall in the background. And so I got this. Wow. Oh, wow. Um, sadly, I had hard lighting. I should have used the diffuser because it looks <coughs> like the more you look at it, this is not harsh lighting. It's just the shadow. It's just how it looks like at this angle, like a side profile. Yeah. My next one was from this. This one was fairly easy. Outside, cloudy. This is a very bad picture, it's all zoomed in, but yeah. And so I had my dad cut out some tree branches because I saw that there's a little bit of like leaves around the window and all that. But it looked like this, <laughs> so that didn't work. So I just went with out them and that's how that turned out. And then I had the moonlight. This one was hard, sort of, because, I mean, I have the same setup in my house, like this is how my hallway looks like. That would be my room on the right, and this is the bathroom. Um, but the bathroom's like a really, like, small room, so everything bounced everywhere, and so I had to dim the light, like, super low. And I also don't have green walls, <laughs> so I had to fix that. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah. yeah. So this was my setup. That's not the right pink, but it's something. Um, and I got that. Sort of the same. 
This was color corrected to green because I don't have any walls. And then I noticed that there's like a light coming from up top. Hence this right here. And so I had to do it from the bottom because the light from up top is way too bright and it's also tungsten. But yeah, I got this. And then I have this one. This is the least accurate. And that's mostly my part. But it's just a bathroom shot with the light coming from above and it's super soft and all that. And then <laughs> this is mine. Um, this was a vertical photo and I didn't notice until like I imported it and I was like, oh man, this is really bad. Um, but it's here and it's somewhat the same. All I wanted was the hands and I got it. But yeah. Oh, and this is mine. <laughs> I decided to revisit my junior year character. And there's, there he is. And I wanted to like experiment with chiaroscuro. So this is my next one. I didn't want you to see the face because obviously that's like revealing the bad guy. Um, but I did this and yeah. Uh, questions for Tori. Um, how did you choose the shots that you were going to imitate? Um, so, I didn't do anything that week, and so I was like, because I was gone the whole week, and so I grabbed Autumn, Bright, and Megan, and I was like, what shots do you guys want to do? And so they just picked it. You just said, you're doing this. Oh yeah, that too. Uh, there was like the... The Scarface one, right here. I definitely wanted to do that because it was just red. Mm. It was really easy, but I did have to figure out where to put these lights. But yeah. So like, were you looking for like a variety of lighting types? And stuff oh yeah. Like um, I did pick moonlight, mostly because it's colorful. Um, there was another one. I wanted to find one that like mixed fluorescent and tungsten because that's supposed to make things look gross. And this sort of did it by using green, mm -hmm. but yeah. <laughs> oh, you guys did it at the same oh. time. Okay, go ahead and take it first. Uh, did you go into Zenith knowing like, I'm gonna do a lighting thing or were you like, oh, this looks pretty neat, I'll do it? Uh, no, I was completely lost. Um, <laughs> I, w I kept on watching like videos from like the previous years and I was like, damn, these are so creative. Like, how am I going to live up to this? And then all of a sudden I just thought of like lighting. I was like, oh, I guess. <laughs> uh, no, I was going to just comment that you have like some nice, really cinematic uh, shots in there, like really good depth of field and stuff. like. Um, and I was also, yeah, like that, that's yeah, really that's good. So that's really cool. nice. Um, I was also curious, did you like just take pictures or did you take actual videos? Um, the only video was this one because I didn't have enough help to hold up the leaves. So I had to like do that. And then this is just a screenshot um, from the video, but I decided to do pictures because this one. I had to Photoshop this one. I was like, I don't have colored lights. Yeah. And so this just sort of dictated the rest of my project. Any more? No? Okay, cool. Oh, Carly. Oh, Carly, sorry. Okay, so you used Premiere throughout this? Did you do the color working in Premiere then? Yeah. Um, it was kind of weird because like we were taught to use it with videos, but it works the same with images. Um, I forget what it's called, but there's an option in the color correction one where it's like HSL something. That was my best friend, where you could like select a spot and then color it and all that. But yeah. That's cool. I never even thought of doing it for pictures. Yeah. Any more? No? Okay, cool. Great. Thanks, Troy. <laughs>